I got really lucky because I got garlic honey because I would love to know what other people are making at home. If there's anyone that I would know to get one of the shiny Pokemons, it would be him. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sleep. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. I make Pokemon Sleep related videos and I really appreciate you hopping by this video. Now, some updates about yesterday. I ended the night with Master 9, so that is a new accomplishment for me. I got really lucky because I got two critical meals, one in during breakfast and the other one at night time that were around 30-40k. My lunchtime one was like 48k, I think. So that really propelled me greatly. Now I did see a comment saying that the Chupets and bonnet, Bannets will be around even after the Halloween event, which is reassuring because I'm still yet to have any visit my campsite, which is kind of weird since they're supposed to be bumped up for the Halloween event, no? So I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if it's just like really unlucky. But let's see. Ooh, that's new. This is my first time encountering that Pokemon. <gasps> oh my god. It finally came. Floaty flopped sleep. <clears throat> this Pokemon <clears throat> This Pokemon grows by eating dark emotions such as envy and malice. If you wake up in the morning with your mo mood improved, it could be that Shuppet sleeping nearby ate up your dark feelings. Mm. So I am for sure going to Pick that, pick that up. Oh, there's another one. Oh, Doug Trio. I have like <clears throat> phlegm stuck in my throat, so. Give me a second as I clear that. That should be better, but I still feel it there, which is annoying. So today I'm actually drinking some peppermint spearmint tea in this cute mug that I got from a friend. I used to get my lashes done, like lash extensions, and I made really good friends with the girl that does my lashes so she got me this for my birthday earlier this year and i thought that was so sweet cute it did a cartwheel right hopefully it won't get full and I'll be able to catch it and I think that is all that I want to pick up to be honest so I'll finish it there now I was thinking last night should I stay in Greengrass Isle or should I move along to Science Beach I 
And in my last video, I was able to... Oh, I ranked up, but I researched ranked up and I still wasn't able to evolve my ditto beyond past level 35. So I guess I gotta upgrade or get another research level, which is gonna really take a while. Now, we move on. So let's see, my weekly summary finished at Master Overall C. Mm. All right, so, oh my god, my throat is bugging me. <clears throat> Give me one sec, I think that's a bit better. I mean, better than before, but. So here I have an area bonus of 25, while this one I have an area bonus of 45. <sighs> a part of me says I should go here, Cyan Beach. Mm. You know what, I'll go here. I hope I get desserts, because I'm doing really good with desserts. And the UI bugged a bit there. <gasps> desserts, yay! So I'm very strong with desserts now, so I'm happy about that. Pick everything up. So tell me you guys, how was your weekend? My weekend was pretty relaxed. Unfortunately, I had to... Last Saturday was my little sister's birthday, so she wanted hot pot. So we were scheduled to go last, last, last Saturday, two Saturdays ago. But as you know, I got sick so I couldn't and I don't want to risk getting my entire family sick as well. So we postponed for last Saturday, but I was still sick. Or the Saturday had just passed actually. But I was still sick, so I had to postpone it for this upcoming Saturday. So fingers crossed, I'll be good and not infectious, contagious. And we'll finally have some hot pot. Other than that, this weekend, I just really relaxed, continued Netflix quarantining. And I made something. So now that I'm feeling a lot better, I wanted to start cooking at home. So the other night I made this deconstructed lasagna that my boyfriend really likes so he requested that I also made a batch of soy sauce marinated eggs I don't have it with me because it's in the fridge so yeah just imagine soy sauce marinated eggs the one that they put on ramen so I love eating that great way to get my protein in especially early in the morning because I don't have to cook anything and I also made something for health so I made this fermented garlic honey and I labeled it on the top and you probably can't see it but it says garlic honey made on November 4th, 2023 with love, heart, heart, heart. So garlic, fermented garlic honey is said to be super good for your health. You take a teaspoon a day when you start to feel something coming up and the honey will ferment the garlic naturally and it's packed with a lot of healthy stuff and you burp it every day for the first one or two weeks which basically means just unscrewing the top and then you'll hear the gases release and then I also flip it every day just so that the top also gets honey recovered on it 
And for the time being, the garlic will float to the top and then eventually they'll all sink to the bottom and the honey will become a lot more runnier. So I've noticed that the honey has already gotten quite runny. But I'm really excited for when this is done fermenting, which should be in about two weeks. And I leave it on in one of my cabinets in a cool, dry area. And then once it's done fermenting, you can put it in the fridge. So supposedly, the reason why you don't want to pop it in the fridge right away is because it'll slow down the fermentation process. The lighting got dark. Hmm. But yeah, that's what I did over my weekend, you know, adulting fun, just preparing my meals and stuff for the rest of the week. Now, tonight, I want to try out a new recipe. I think it's called like high knees chicken or high knees chicken. But that is what I want to try. So, I found a simple recipe. And luckily, I have the ingredients at home in my cabinet. So... We will see how that goes and I will tell you guys if it is yummy or not. But if you guys have any like fail-proof go-to recipes that you like to make when you're in a pinch or you don't have enough time to prepare, let me know because I would love to know what other people are making at home for themselves. I have a couple things on rotation but I'm having that cooking itch where I want to try something new. I also need to make a batch of bone broth one of these days during the week. I also need to eat more fruits and vegetables. You know, eat your vitamins. And if you if you guys are curious how you're supposed to eat this, um, I've seen people just take like a spoonful of the honey and eat it or you take it with a piece of garlic and you eat it. it might be an acquired taste but I love fermented foods, I love garlic and with honey, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to really enjoy it. Plus the health benefits, great right? And I think some people even cook with the honey garlic. I guess it would be really good on charcuterie boards if you drizzle on the honey over cheese with a cured piece of ham and cracker that sounds good or over fig stuffed with brie that sounds good too so oh I don't even think I looked at what nature my shuppet And it's all garlic. I mean, not garlic. All oils. And it's quirky. Mm. So once it's level 28, I can evolve it. Now, let's see. Let's do this. A Sylveon. <clears throat> Pincer. Is that a shiny haunter? It looks like it because the color of his mouth hmm if it is congrats oh wow Chrissy evolved her shiny Eevee into a shiny Umbreon shiny Umbreon is very sick like the colors and everything some shiny Pokemon are just not lucky where 
the color variation is like barely any different or it's just like utter doo-doo oh so it seems like it wasn't a shiny haunter the other one A lot of Gengars that showed up to your guys' campsite. So now that Halloween is done, we have the Christmas event to look forward to. Oh, it's the Bulbasaur sleep. Oh, my boys. Ah, much better. But this is the Bulbasaur sleep ditto. People find way much cooler Pokemon than me. But then it's like Well, I got to Master 9 finally, and I expected like way cooler Pokemon to show up at my campsite. But I've yet to find a Sylveon or a Gengar show up. Jolteon. Well, actually, so yesterday when I was looking through this, I saw Alfseer and it didn't show that he had a shiny Shuppet, right? But I saw that he got a Shuppet. So I was like, I bet you this guy got a freaking shiny Shuppet. If there's anyone that I would know to get one of the shiny Pokemons, it would be him. And guess what? He did. It's a freaking shiny Shuppet. And I was like, of course, out of all people, it would be him to get it. But yeah, it's nice to see what the shiny Shuppet got, uh, what shiny Shuppet looks like. So congratulations on that. Can't wait to see once it's evolved. But it's so crazy how some people are way luckier than others with the shinies. And there we go, we went through the entire list. So, there we have it. There's Monday for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait until this throat of mine is better because it is so annoying talking for you know a longer period of time then you feel a phlegm build up so i got a lot of cutting out to do in this video because i don't want to assault you guys with the sound of my cough <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys take it easy today i'm gonna probably take it easy as well and do a bit of chores do some work prepare for planning my meals for the rest of the week and probably see where that takes me from there 
So last night my boyfriend and I finished the Barbie movie. It's been a while in the sense that the movie's been out for a while but we only watched it now and it's very funny. I, I enjoyed it a lot. There were a lot of comments in the movies that were very cleverly placed and I could see how younger people and older people can enjoy it like I definitely feel like my experience watching it is different from my little sister's experience watching it just because she's younger and hasn't experienced the world in a way that I have yet but yeah I think that's what makes these movies like this fun especially when you're watching like Pixar movies or kid movies as well there's always some messages for older or wiser people to pick up on that is nice too so yeah, we finished Barbie and our next movie is going to be Oppenheimer since Barbie and Oppenheimer came out on the same week, probably even the same day. I just remember when I was walking around near the movie theaters, you could clearly see who was watching Barbie and who was watching Oppenheim because um, people would dress up for it, so pink for Barbie and then black kind of more dressed up for Oppenheim which I'm all for I mean dressing for the themes and stuff I love it so yeah that would probably be oh yeah and American Horror Story the new season came out I haven't watched since the circus one and I probably watched through half of the hotel one but I didn't finish that so hopefully one of these days I'll be able to catch up on all that but I heard that Kim Kardashian is in the new American Horror Story and supposedly her performance was really good so I am intrigued I do want to see what is up with that is it scary is it not how does it tie into the whole universe so hopefully I'll be able to watch that this week as well and yeah let me go let me know blah I'm tongue-tied let me know what your guys's plans for the week looks like or if there's any new games shows movies that you've been watching don't forget any recipes as well because a girl could need some help with her meal planning but yeah i hope you guys have a fun rest of the day stay safe stay healthy make sure you take some time to do something fun and i hope you to see well I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.